War shows you who you are. You get to see your intellectual capacity, your physical capacity, your emotional capacity. I went to war and war changed me. It changed me for the better. People talk about, you know, we're dedicated to veterans, but half of that is just trash. It's used as soundbite information for corporations to sell more shit. I want people to know when they step into the company that this is owned by the veteran community. And I want the veteran community to take pride in that. Super f***ing slow. Yeah, says the guy shooting at a second and a half. Oh. I knew that I wanted to join the military <laughs> as early as I could remember. Right out of high school, I joined the Washington National Guard. It was something I excelled at. That was the first time in my life that I had felt, wow, I can do things to a very high level. I scored the highest on the PT test. I scored the highest in marksmanship tests. I had been reborn. After school, I went straight into a Special Forces qualification course. I was definitely single point focused on becoming a, a Green Beret and pushing myself to intellectual and physical limits. I wanted to become a Green Beret because I was very attracted to the outdoors. Like I, I loved the mountains. It's what I wanted to do, not to prove that I could do it. It was to do it. <laughs> that just speak a different language. They're dropped into foreign countries with small teams. They build insurgencies and overthrow dictatorships, helping people that were disadvantaged, but then also be able to do it in a way that was like super cool. War is the darkest depth of humanity and the highest high of humanity. It is both. It's the widest spectrum of everything the world has to offer, and it can all fold out in less than a second. I went to work for the CIA in 2005, and throughout that nine years, I spent seven years uh, in combat zones. Every deployment I went on, I was taking small batch roasted coffee with me. It had modified our gun trucks in the invasion of Iraq so we could grind coffee and put it through a French press. People would wake up in the morning to the sound of my grinder. My team leader and I, every morning we would cheers to our coffee. It was a special bond over something as insignificant as brown water, but great coffee was one of those things where if you started your day with it, it just made your day that much better. As happy as I was, I'd miss the mountains, and I wanted to be able to take the finest morning in the mountains with the greatest cup of coffee and be able to replicate that same morning in Mosul or wherever I was. In uh, 97, I moved to Seattle for a little while. Seattle had this huge boom in coffee in the 90s. I was going down the rabbit hole deeper and deeper and deeper, trying to find different espressos, different Americanos, different forms of coffee. And it became kind of like an adventure, just like seeking out different roasters, different coffee shops. I started roasting coffee just to sell to my friends. But then people started buying it, started buying a lot of it. I had to transition completely away from recreational roaster to this is my day job. One of my goals is to hire 10,000 veterans. I think that they're underappreciated. I think they're undervalued. They get forgotten. Some of this is going to be super politically incorrect, but I think that that's what Americans want because they don't want to be reminded that we're sending 18 and 20 year old men and women into harm's way every day around the world by choice. A lot of these men and women come back and they are physically and psychologically broken. The average American civilian is scared to have a very open and candid conversation with the American service member. It's a great moment. It's my responsibility as a veteran to remind people that they don't need a handout, they need an opportunity. It's creating a force multiplication effect through thousands of veterans that live happy and productive lives. Inherently, that will translate to the rest of society.
I'm trying to create a tribe. We can all laugh over the same videos. We can all drink the same coffee. We can all reinforce the same type of value structure. That's a tribe. Culture is an overused word. I treat it more like a family. I'm just trying to make people laugh and roast a great coffee and attract a bunch of people that want to do the same. Hold me down, I'm free. Yeah, my pride.